Is ice or heat better for you when it comes to removing your pain? The answer is, it depends upon the underlying problem. In certain conditions, you want to use ice. In other conditions, you don't want to use ice and you should be using heat. Ice is designed for inflammation. Something that's acute, something that's swollen, something that just happened, a fall, a strain, an injury. You'll see redness, it will start to swell. You never want to use heat on something like that. It will make the condition worse. Heat, on the other hand, is when the swelling goes down, something becomes chronic, the muscles are in chronic tightness, they're in spasm, they're contracted, but there's no inflammation, there's no swelling, there's no redness. That is the big difference. One being acute, something recently happened within the first two days, and the other one, versus when we talk, when we talk about heat, something that's being chronic. There are other great ways that you could be using ice. Chronic headaches. But remember, if it's tied in inflammation, even though the muscle is not swollen, even though the skin is not swollen, you can have inflammation deep inside around the nerve. And putting ice behind the skull can remove about 70 to 80% of your tension headaches by reducing the inflammation. The nerves behind the head go over the head behind the eyes, may take away those headaches behind the eyes. People who have gout, inflammation of the big toe or wherever the gout may be in your body, putting ice can reduce that swelling, take away the inflammation. So ice can be used in other things besides injuries, which can be a great asset for your health and your well-being. And regarding heat, heat can be used as strains where there's not a lot of inflammation, overusing the muscles, poor posture, things that you do every day, leaning over, forward head carriage, rounded shoulders, after straining yourself, maybe exercising, running, but again, there's no swelling, and just chronic arthritic, arthritic changes, osteoarthritis, arthritic changes in the joints, in the knees, uh, in the hips, the neck, the back, chronic problems that you may be suffering from, heat can be a big asset as well. So put this information to work and hopefully it will make a big change in your health and in the pain that you're suffering from. Put your comments below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best in answering them. But most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.